Hey, what's up? My name is Kevin and I'm the Helpful Hero, here to help you leverage the awesome power that is HubSpot. Today, I've got version 97 of Clean Pro all ready to rock for you and I wanna show you a few cool new things that you can look forward to. So let's go ahead and jump straight into HubSpot and um, you can check it out. So first things first, if I, let me just quickly refresh this page, I've introduced tabbed browsing to the global header, which has been a very popular request and I finally figured it out. So now if you hit tab a couple times, you can see it highlights the logo. It'll go in and highlight each of the, the menus. But now if I hit tab again, it'll actually go through and highlight the items within each mega menu, which is super cool. And it'll actually go through the standard dropdown menus as well. So it's not specific only to the mega menu. So you have that to look forward to. Now, the one thing that you do need to know is if you are including the global header module in a child theme, it's not gonna get this update that the parent theme will get. The good news is I've created a completely different video tutorial, which you can find in my new knowledge base, which I'll link in the description below, of how you can add the necessary code, and it's pretty simple, to the global header module inside your child themes so you can get this cool new accessibility feature. Trust me, it's not super challenging, and if you want this feature, um, well then, you can get it. Let's move on. The next thing you can look forward to with VersaCards version 1.1.8 is a couple things. One, with the filters, you're gonna now see that by default, they are arranged in alphabetical order. That was a common request that I got. And then also, you now have the ability to add actual buttons at the bottom of the flexi card that are all going to align together no matter how long or short the content in each of these cards are. Um, that had been a real problem for a lot of people that are detail oriented like me, where like this button might sit a little higher, um, but now that's all taken care of for you. Um, I've given you the option to add a standard button, a HubSpot CTA, as well as a modal pop-up button. So you have a lot of different choices there. And of course, of course, you can align them left, center, right, and have those controls as well. Now let's go on to the countdown timer. This one is now in version 1.0.5. And one of the requests was being able to actually add multiple countdowns to a single page. Uh, that was a constraint before, but no longer. You can actually add as many as you want to a single page and they will all work. The next thing is the product detail module, which is now on version 1.0.2. And I had introduced a light box option for the actual um, images here that you can turn on or off. But now you'll have the ability to style this background so it has you know your branded colors, whatever color you know in the background that you want, and you'll have a little bit more control there. Uh, last but not least, um, and this was a simple one, but a popular request. The blog post thumbnails that you can add to any website pages uh, is now on version 1.1.8, and you can round the corners. <laughs> that's, that's about it, I know, rounded corners. I, I love them too, and apparently so do you. So now you can actually do that with this module. And that is mostly what's gonna be included in this version release. There are a few more things that um, I'll note in the release notes. Um, so you might wanna check those out as well. Again, thank you so much for all of the incredible feedback over the past year and beyond. It's continued to help me make the single best theme for the HubSpot platform. And all thanks to you. So thank you, high five to you, high five back to me. All right, I'm out of here. Have a fantastic weekend. Bye.